guys, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio, and I'm going to show you a picking technique today to help you pick better. And I'm going to play on the seventh fret of the third string. I'm just going to kind of keep it there. And uh, the picking technique is called rest stroke. So what you're going to do is with your pick, you're going to kind of angle it down a little bit. You're going to let it fall onto the next string. So instead of just picking like that, you're going to pick the third string, and you're going to land on the second string. See how it's kind of stuck there. So it lands on the next string, and that's called a rest stroke, because it's resting on the next one. And the idea here is it's going to help you accent um, the beat or different kinds of rhythms. So, for example, if I want to do eighth notes and I want to accent the beat, then uh, my pick can do a rest stroke on the beat like this. If I want to do 16th notes, then I have four notes per beat and I'm going to accent every time I would tap my foot like this. Um, then let's say I want to do uh, triplet 16th notes. second notes. So you can hear that accent in there. That's going to help you with a lot of different things, but uh, for right now you just want to practice it, uh, try to get the feel down. You can even just do downs. Try to get that technique down if you're not used to it. Um, <clears throat> so the idea here is, and the reason I played that, that Dream Theater thing in the beginning, is it, it helps you mark like kind of a, a, a benchmark throughout a, a riff so that the lick that I just played for the Dream Theater thing was uh, 25 notes so it's 25 notes long and uh, it's sort of like you know if you just try to play all 25 notes in a row you might not come out on the other end you know in time so throughout you want to try to mark uh, your spot as you go and you do that with this rest stroke accenting the beat so it would be this note so it's fast enough where sometimes it's hard to hear the accent but I think you can hear it in there um, because I'm, fo I'm following through on those notes that are on the beat. Alright, and that's going to help me stay on the beat as I go. Uh, it's also for, you know, you could use it for a variety of reasons. That's just, that's just one. Also, when you're trying to, de to develop speed on the instrument and you have a metronome going, uh, that, that pick that's on the click with the metronome Accenting that's going to help you get a really good solid feel for where you are, and trying to make make sure you stay with it. Uh, one thing you could try to do is do a an exercise where you kind of um, keep changing where the rest stroke is um, to have to create a different feel as you move on. So what I'm going to do that now. I'll do like eighth notes, sixteenth notes, triplet sixteenth notes, uh, thirty second notes. And then I'll kind of like mix it up from there. So. obnoxious but you can hear like the almost like the time signature changes as you go so something like from here all right so um i would practice this and try to gain that pick control of attacking the string on the beat that you want and that's going to help you if you're learning a, a riff or a, a lick where um, you kind of have a, a bunch of notes in a row and you sort of have to line it up with the beat in order for it to work. All right, so that's a cool picking technique and exercise to work on. Enjoy 
and ask me any questions in the comments below. Talk to you later.